A change and a change for the better are two very different things. Polished poverty. Hello. Today, my partner and I will be looking at the growing relevance of America's current neutrality between the UN on the matter of lost. I will be going over a series of significant insolvencies and disadvantages lost bear burden upon our nation and why it is imperative that we do not join in with the treaty, starting with the significance. All right, UNCLOS does not secure navigational rights. An additional, an additional paper guarantee might be a nice thing to have, but as seven growths of the Heritage Foundation noted in a recent study, the navigational rights and freedoms enjoyed by the U.S. states and the Navy are guaranteed not by the membership of a treaty, but rather through a combination of long-standing legal principles and persistent naval operations. In any case, that really affected the U.S. security. Think, naval transit during a period of crisis or in a war, lost would not matter. This leads on to the solvency topic. CLCS rarely accepts requests for extended continental shelves. As the Arctic drama unfolds, the CLCS is moving forward. Countries or groups of countries have subsequently made 50 submissions. The Commission has issued recommendations on eight claims, including fully approving Australia and New Zealand's submissions in the spring of 2008 and giving the countries jurisdiction over respectively an additional 2.5 and 1.7 million square kilometers of seabed. While for most countries, the official deadline to submit claims was May 14, 2009, the Commission is likely to receive several more submissions over the next several years. As the early contenders have shown, the stakes are high. The race to carve up the seabed has officially begun. The impact is, there is no guarantee that there will actually be any, if any, claims in regards to the ECS, which pushes on to the damages. Legal limbo lacerates livelihood. U.S. accession to the convention, I mean, to the convention would provide an opportunity and legal form for other unclosed members to initiate lawsuits against the U.S., challenging the uh, challenging the adequacy of its efforts to protect the marine environment. Although current, current U.S. laws may satisfy many of the general environmental obligations set forth in the convention, the U.S. might nevertheless be forced, the, nevertheless be forced to, depend, to, depend, it, to depend itself in a costly and politically embarrassing lawsuit. Challenging the sufficiency and enforcement, the U.S of the U.S. domestic environmental laws and regulations. One such lawsuit, the MOX plant case, the impact would be very simple, more lawsuits, more spending. U.S. accessions, I mean, US, US accessions to UNCLOSE would expose the U.S. to lawsuits regarding virtually any marine time activity, such as alleged pollution of the marine environment from a land-based source or through the atmosphere. Regardless of the lack of merits, merits as such a case, the U.S. would be forced to defend itself against every such lawsuit at great expense to the taxpayers of America. Any adverse judgment rendered by an unclosed tribunal, um, tribunal would be final, could not be appealed, and would be enforced in U.S. territory. And the impact is very simple. The U.S. would be forced to spend large amounts of taxpayer dollars in highly unnecessary lawsuits that would completely alter business practices. This, the result would not be increased economic growth, growth rather than crippling us. In conclusion, with evidence from damages, solvency, and the so-called gains, it is not in America's best interest to support and become a part of the law of the sea treaty. Thank you. Uh, I just have a couple questions for you. Um, are more resources a good thing? Yes, but who would not get the resources, technically? The companies would. Okay. Uh, is there more um, money for companies a good Is more money for companies a good thing? Technically, yes, but they can currently drone out without paying royalties, which is more efficient and convenient. All right. Oh, and my last one. What other countries besides Russia have been denied? I'm afraid I do not know. 
but I will do further research on it for another day of the case. All right, thank you. No further questions.